investors will they'll jump at the chance. The biggest response I ever had on a blast out property was Long Beach. Uh, it was a seller, and they basically let me take over their loan. And uh, even though my my subject line on the property was 110 percent of market value, and then I said in the in the first line, I said, you, "Did I lose my mind?" And I said, "No, it doesn't require any money. Uh, Ten thousand, of course, and you're in." And a cash positive cash flow. I had seventy investors want that property. Good way to build a list. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, they were already on my list. Oh. Could you find them? All right. Well, just email us as we said. We've got basically the the. Uh, Basically, we just did a little work off, and um, we must have forgotten them. So, like, yeah, I mean, I just threw the, the remaining ones I had in my bag. Uh, you know, just email them. Just email them. Email me at curtis at farblowmarket.com. I've got the K. The K. You've got, uh, the K. You've got uh, 16 hours step by step. I just recently redid our land trust. I made it, I shortened it down to three or four pages. And I made it more in favor of the buyer so it's easier for them to follow. And uh, I added uh, like about three more hours of video on how to build your buyer's list. So any, just any questions? You know, you guys got me. After you flip that 72, is the uh, person that's buying that, the investor, leaving it? In the name of the of the previous owner yes. until what Great time? Great question. Yeah, um, it can just stay in the trust, um, but what, what you're going to do is substitute the trustee to them. Okay. So basically, you're taking yourself. Whoever's the trustee owns the property. You can do everything. You know. So what you're going to do is just assign it to them, and and they're going to put their name on as trustee. Okay. And. Um, Here's another thing about banks calling a loan. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. The same question that I asked, you know, like 300, 300 people who's ever bought directly from a bank. How many people have uh, ever had a loan call? A lot of investors that take subject to. The, the trust, lock, stock, and barrel, they're not. It's actually illegal for a bank to call a loan if you put it in your own trust. So when they see the name match, do they have a right to call the loan? Absolutely. Are they going to? No way. And when you write your check, you don't have to just write it because they don't. They're, it's a big administration. They don't look to see where the checks come from. You can accumulate. That's why we're going to kind of shift gears. Um, we're going to keep wholesaling, but I want to teach this. This is kind of like my first little educational piece on this because wholesaling is awesome. But it's a job. We work for butts off it. It's not. It's not. You can work an hour a day and you know and, and do ten deals. You can do it part time and, and make an extra ten grand a month pretty easily. But as soon as you stop wholesaling, the money stops. It's a job. The, the idea behind real estate is to create freedom. So if you acquire these properties by taking over the existing financing and cash flowing them with this much money out of your pocket. You guys, I mean, just think in 10 years, this is the greatest opportunity in our lifetime right now. Houses in our area, they're down 70%. Houses that were going from 300 are in the 100s. It's already going back up. I mean, we're seeing stuff in our little area. We were getting them for 80. We can't get it for 80. They're already going back up. Accumulate property now. And I, I think in 10 years, the people who successfully accumulate property at these prices, there's going to be a chasm in wealth. People who got property now and the ones who didn't. So I'm trying to, I want to help people use this technique. Because investor loans are hard to get them they used to be. They limit you to four. Uh, they change to ten. But you've got to have really good credit. And by using this technique, you can get as many as you, as you want. So I, I walk you through the exact steps on how to do it, and I threw it in there. And I throw that in with the DVD for you guys. This is way off the subject, but I just want to know if you're at all involved. Do you get involved in tax liens at all? 
No, I, I know nothing about passing. Okay. I always wanted to kind of another area. But, um, um, we, your cousin is really successful, uh, but I really don't know. Do you, do you ever? Well, I don't personally. We've had a lot of people come through and talk about it. Certainly, if you want to go to the beach, it sounds like, you know, no maintenance, no property management, no people moving in and out. You collect your 25%. And uh, a good uh, play that uh, someone we know does is land from tax sales. Mm -hmm. And then they'll sell them and finance it. So you're getting just massive income. You buy the land, sell it, carry the note. Okay. So it gets a lot of money. If anybody's interested in the DVDs um, and the learning material that we had, just come see us after this meeting and we'll work it up. We've got it here. They were actually out of the Yeah. Yeah. We've had probably three, four, maybe five people here already getting onto your site, having the uh, emails come in for the videos to look at. Yeah, we have three people. I'm, that's all autoresponders. You're not physically getting down to doing any of that because I noticed each person that gets on is a few days behind the next person, so yeah. it's all got to be automated. They don't even do anything. It's a great I, job. As far as wholesaling, Excellent. I attribute that probably like 80% to our success because uh, we get, like, people feel like they know us. And, we're telling our story, right? We're offering as much value as possible. And I mean, we've got people all the time that say, "Oh, hey, you know, your video was great." We have a link in one of the emails that sends the video. And that's what you want because when you get when you get your first deal locked up and you put it on Craigslist, which is another thing you want to do, put it everywhere, not just on your website. I didn't really talk too much about that. But you want to put it all over Craigslist. Put it all, all kinds of sites. I got a list on this thing of like 15 different sites. When you're, if your buyer comes in cold, then the chances, the trust, and the, you know, the, how many emails do you see? Oh, this property is, you know, and then they exaggerate what it's really worth. They've already been getting your emails. Maybe they reply and then you, you talk to each other a little bit. The odds of them buying your deal just go through the roof. And, you know, and like I said, you can take our emails, just paraphrase them. Don't use the exact same email. But you can use the structure of them and you can put your own language on it. You know, I'm giving you license to use it. To use a variation of it. When you were just talking about, you know, 15 different places, you are talking about places where you put your videos and things. Is that what you meant? 15 different Yeah, you yeah said. I, I put that on the DVD. We've got... Mm -hmm. uh, 15 different sites that we posted on. And that that drives a lot of your buyers. I mean, that's, in fact, that's where, you know, before our news media thing happened, that's where all our buyers came from, was, you know, putting them on the uh, Craigslist. V-Flyer. Uh, do you have internet on this? They have wireless, but it doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay. I've offered to fix it, but uh, <laughs> we're just not there. <laughs> uh, 